So I don't do TBR videos very often. And the reason for that is one, I'm a very slow reader. It can take me a while to get through a fancy book. Two, I'm a mood reader. So what I'm planning on reading changes all the time. I very rarely plan past the next read. However, for once I've sat myself down and gone, right, you're reading these books next. <laughs> Otherwise I'll get easily distracted and end up reading something completely different, which is not very good when you have a huge TBR and reads that you said you would get to a long time ago. <laughs> I'm gonna break this down into three sections. There's the definites, the probablys, and the maybes. <laughs> Even my TBR video has, I'm gonna leave some wiggle room because you never know what will come around the corner. So let's look at some of the, some of the, the, the autumn reads. I'm not sure where I was going with that, but we'll move on. First of all, my main read and the reason that I sent myself a scheduled TBR is Assassin's Apprentice. <laughs> Pretty sure I said I was going to read this in like May. Just occurred to me that it is September. So as soon as I finish my current read, this is next. I'm sorry, Sarah. I told you I'd get it eventually. It's just eventually is a lot longer <laughs> than even I thought it was going to be. But this is the first book in the realm of the Elderlings, which is a 16 book series. However, I'm going to tell myself that this is a trilogy and that's going to make this more manageable because the realm of the Elderlings is broken up into many arcs almost so the first section is the farseer trilogy so i'm just it's a trilogy that's what i'm going to say to myself i don't know that much about the plot so i'm going in pretty blind with this all i know is there's fits he has a wolf called night eyes it's a very traumatic story it's probably very slow the first book gets more mixed opinions than the rest of the series so i am going in with tempered expectations i think from the sounds of it i'm gonna love robin hobb but i'm not gonna put all that pressure on the first book i'll definitely move on to royal assassin before deciding if hobbs for me keeping up that i don't know much about it but it's probably gonna traumatize me we have flowers for algrenon algrenon no it's Aldrinon, your happy dad. I got a text about two minutes after the, I mentioned this in a video saying, it's Aldrinon, not Algernon. <laughs> so Flowers for Aldrinon is what I'm going to be reading after Hob. Again, I don't know that much about it. I'm just really drawn to it because of the reviews. I've seen some really amazing reviews, especially recently. A couple of friends that I know have picked it up and said they loved it and it's traumatizing. We're always ready to be traumatized. And I thought, what better time to be traumatized than straight after Hob? We'll label this the traumatizing TBR, because that's that's the plan. Wait till you hear what the third book is. <laughs> but I've mentioned before I am more wary about older sci-fi because it is very idea driven, which isn't necessarily my thing. It doesn't sound like my thing, but it is something I want to explore more of. However, I've heard that this is a wee bit more character driven, which is probably a better way for me to get into that part of the genre and i saw it in the bookshop and i was like wow cover not a huge fan of the other covers so i grabbed this while it was there and it's a pretty short read after flowers for aldrinon i am planning on picking up my first ever manga because it's almost spooky month i decided that the first ever manga i will read is uzu maki by junji ito this is it's a creepy spiral thing i thought that this would be a really fun one to start with especially for a halloween special so I have got a big video planned for it that I think will be a lot of fun. But I'm also really looking forward to reading this. And the draw is it is a standalone because <laughs> I did think about reading some other manga, but a lot of the series are huge. And I will get to some of these bigger series eventually. However, I thought for now, this is a good one to read. And people say they can't look at spirals normally ever again after reading <laughs> Maggie. I'm like, how can a spiral be scary? It's a shape. It's a... It's a... I'm excited to find out. <laughs> Those are the three definites that I definitely want to get to before the end of October, roughly. However, that is not all I will be reading, of course. In the hopeful category, I really want to get to Sons of Darkness. This is a Game of Thrones Indian mythology inspired fantasy book that I've heard nothing but amazing things about. And it just feels like it would make a really good fall read. For fall, I think I probably prefer more dark atmospheric reads over horror. I've not found a horror book I've loved yet, apart from maybe It by Stephen King. And I think this will definitely scratch that really dark, gritty fantasy book. And also I've not read anything that's had Indian inspired fancy before so i'm really intrigued to see what type of story that this is but i am really looking forward to reading sons of darkness so that's a 
as high in the hopefuls as I can get. Also in the hopeful, actually this should probably be in the definite. I'm definitely going to be continuing Dungeon Crawler Carl. I keep on wanting to call him Dungeon Crawler Dan. <laughs> I don't know why. I put him down as Dungeon Crawler Dan in the Discord and I didn't hear the end of it. So if I say Dan, I mean Carl. Dungeon Crawler Carl. This is a series I've only come across recently. However, I was watching a uh, live with Andrew at Wizardly Reads and Murphy Napier. And Andrew recommended this series, Dungeon Crawler Carl. And he talked about the premise and I thought, yes, I'll have that please. And he said that the audiobook was really, really good. So pretty much that night I went on and downloaded the first book to Dungeon Crawler, Carl. And I'm currently probably halfway through and it is so ridiculous <laughs> and I love it so much. I will probably do a full video talking about it because it is just bizarre but it's also really funny and enjoyable and given that the rest of this is really dark TBR I think it'd be quite good to have this on as an audiobook while I'm reading these other reads just just to line up the mood a, li a little bit you know just but I also have a handful of series I want to continue. These are in the, the bottom of the hopefuls and into the maybes. Maybe I'll create a poll or something to see which of these I should prioritize. But I really want to continue with Mistborn Era 2. I've been waiting on the Lost Metal to come out in paperback. So I've not read the Bands of Mourning yet. So I need to read this and then the Lost Metal. However, I believe the Lost Metal is coming out at the end of October in paperback so it might be worth fitting this in in October so I can read The Lost Metal in November. That's a, that's a maybe. I also really want to continue the Nevernight Chronicles. I read both Empire of the Vampire and Nevernight in the fall season and it just works with Kristoff's writing so well so I think this is a perfect chance to get to book two maybe book three and finish off the trilogy. I really enjoyed the first book it was excellent. The first third I was a wee bit more mixed on because it was so full on so early but after that great read i loved it but i also want to read hellbent which came out this year in february i loved the ninth house i talk about it a lot on this channel and it also just fits in really well with autumn and the spookle season this is completely different it is a dark academia urban fantasy novel so it's not high an epic fantasy like a lot of the other series on this list so it might be good for a wee bit of a palette cleanser to fit this in as well but there's also the chance that i'll finish assassin's apprentice and think i need book two right now so there is also a chance that i might pick that up after uzumaki maybe one of these <laughs> maybe i'll put up a poll maybe i'll wait and just mood read and see which one i'm in the mood for we'll see but that is all the books that i plan on getting to in autumn let me know in the comments below what you plan on reading in the month of in the month of autumn <laughs> let me know what you plan to read in the season of autumn do you have any seasonal reads coming up or are you continuing on with some series just what, what are you going to be reading L let me know i want to know and let me know what of those last couple i should prioritize but thank you very much for watching i forgot to mention the last couple of videos so i wrote a book outro need to cut away yet anything andrew cut away and end the video just just